Hello everyone. I just wanted to take a few minutes here just to touch upon one of our new studies in our PFR testing for the 2020 growing season. That would be the Closing Wheel 404 study. This is a multi-location study that was performed at Central Illinois PFR, Indiana PFR, Kentucky PFR, and Ohio PFR. Today, specifically, I'm gonna talk about our scouting results from the Central Illinois PFR location in El Paso, Illinois. The furrow force is the attachment you see in front of me. That's a closing wheel system. It happens to be a two-stage system. So the first stage is these notch coulters up front. And then the second stage is this packing wheel on the back side of the unit. What we do here is we have a depth handle. At the bottom of this depth handle is a load cell. So we set the depth of these front coulters, the stage one coulters, and then that gets set by the height of the closing packers on the back side. The reason we have a load cell attached to that T handle is because as we go out through the field, it's reading load and it's transferring that information up to the precision planting 2020. It then relays the information back to this module, which then either increases or decreases the amount of air pressure in that airbag for the targeted setting that we have selected in the Precision Planting 2020. For this study, we have four settings that we tested, 120, 60, and zero pounds in the manual setting. So that's static pressure across each individual pass. Now the fourth setting is 30 pounds fully automated, and that changes the pressure either up or down in that bag to get an ideal setting or pressure for that pass. So as we go throughout the field, it changes based on the amount of load that it is sensing at that load cell, which is pretty important if our conditions change throughout our planting pass. So we talked about the furrow force itself. Now let's go ahead and dive into what we're seeing in the field from our scouting results. This particular study at the Central Illinois farm was planted on May 9th. The first day of emergence was May 20th in the evening. So we've got 11 days from planting till emergence. We had a little bit of a stress, uh, stressful period there. We had some rainfall and some cooler temperatures which prolonged the amount it took between planting and emergence. I'm gonna start off by looking at our 120 pound manual setting. Okay, we had 35 plants emerge here and 35 ears what we have in front of us. So what we do is we go out every 12 hours and we stake or flag each individual plant. Every paper that you see here, the start of the paper, signifies the start of another emergence date. So with this 120 pound manual setting, we have six emergence dates. As I move down to the 60 pound manual, 35 came up, we have 34 ears, so we lost one plant. And we had four emergence dates. So two fewer emergence dates with a 60 pound manual setting versus the 120, okay? Moving on to the zero, we had 34 emerge and 34 ears. By the way, my planting population was 34,000 in this study. So all plants came up and then we did have all plants produce an ear. We did have six emergence dates. So back to the same as that 120 pound manual setting. As I move down into the fully automated setting, we had 34 emerge. We only have 34 plants that produced ears. And we have seven planting or seven emergence dates. And hopefully you can see the difference in ear size from the treatments. From what I can tell, the 60 pounds probably has the biggest ears and of course has the most ears that came up in that May 20th emergence time frame. Another point of view is at the end. And from what I can see here, as our dates progress further on into the season, the ears do in fact get smaller. So what are we gonna do with this? We're going to shell each individual ear and we're going to weigh that emergence set separate of all the other emergence sets and take moisture on all of those samples and we'll get a percentage of what 
each emergent set provided towards final yield of that treatment. So if a plant emerges here at our final emergence here on 5.25 a.m., so May 25th a.m., how much did that puny ear provide to final yield? We do like to see all of our ears get up here in the first two days of emergence, which I feel is very important. And you can see that here with a 60 pound ear set. Pretty consistent set of ears. There's a couple runs in there, but pretty consistent. So we will provide this final data to you either in our PFR book, or we will talk about it at one of our insight meetings. Thanks for joining us today.